many actors are willing to transform themselves for roles, from gaining and losing weight to wearing prosthetics and more. But for some actors, taking on the ultimate film role means going to extremes, sometimes even permanently hurting their bodies in the process. Here are some actors who've earned some serious, albeit sometimes invisible, scars for their art. Jared Leto in Chapter 27 as we've come to know very well at this point, Jared Leto is a method actor who doesn't hold back when it comes to transforming his body. He's lost major weight for films such as Requiem for a Dream and his Oscar winning turn in Dallas Buyers Club. But it was actually gaining weight for the 2007 indie film Chapter 27 that really did a number on the actor. Playing Mark Chapman, the man who shot and killed John Lennon, and Leto admitted he gained so much weight so abruptly that he suffered gout. Leto revealed that the weight gain hurt his body so much, towards the end he couldn't even walk. He told the Los Angeles Times, I had a definite problem with my feet. Towards the end of the shoot, one of the glaring issues was the pain I had with my feet. I couldn't walk for long distances, I had a wheelchair because it was so painful. My body was in shock from the amount of weight I gained. It took about a year to get back to a place that felt semi-normal, and I don't know if I'll ever be back to the place I was physically. Hey, at least dyeing his hair green and putting in metal teeth to play the Joker in Suicide Squad left no indelible marks. Well, except for on his career. I'm just gonna hurt you. Really, really bad. Tom Hanks in Philadelphia and Castaway. The affable Tom Hanks isn't necessarily known to be one of those actors who loses himself in roles, but he has gone to a few extremes here and there, and has won two Oscars for his efforts, in both the 1993 drama Philadelphia, in which he plays a lawyer diagnosed with AIDS, and the 2000 survival pick Castaway, Hanks had to lose a lot of weight during the shoot. Thanks to the forced fluctuation and his own genetics, of course, the actor revealed that he was later diagnosed with type 2 diabetes. He said that he probably won't be taking on any more roles which require him to drastically change his size as a result of these experiences. George Clooney in Syriana while George Clooney didn't have to undergo much of a physical transformation for his Oscar-winning role in 2005's Syriana, he still experienced a real headache during the making of the movie. While filming a torture scene for the political thriller, the actor cracked his head open during a stunt and severely injured his spine. He told Rolling Stone at the time the pain from his injury was so bad he considered taking his own life. I was at a point where I thought, I can't exist like this. I can't actually live. I was lying in a hospital bed with an IV in my arm, unable to move, having these headaches where it feels like you're having a stroke, and for a short three week period, I started to think, I may have to do something drastic about this. Doctors couldn't quite pinpoint where the injury was at first. They clearly weren't as good as his ER alter ego, Doug Ross, but finally noticed fluid leaking from Clooney's spine and realized that the condition was more serious than anyone had thought. The actor revealed to The Hollywood Reporter that he was forced to take strong pain medication as part of a long process and eventually turned to pain management for help dealing with his chronic discomfort. But he'll never again be 100%. I've gone from where I can't function to I've got a bad headache. My ears will literally pop and my head goes ape but I'm scrappy. I'm not kidding because I think I've crossed the line. Oh no. Sylvester Stallone, The Expendables 3. As a long-time action movie star, Sylvester Stallone knows a thing or two about cuts, bruises, broken bones, the whole shebang. In fact, he had once joked that he grades the quality of movies by how badly he got hurt making them. So, suffice it to say, he certainly experienced more than his fair share of pain on the set of movies, including a permanent injury on the set of The Expendables 3, in which he reprised his role as mercenary Barney Ross. The action star suffered a nasty fall on the set that left him in need of spinal surgery. That hurts. But believe it or not, Stallone's injuries weren't even the scariest from that film set. Co-star Jason Statham almost lost his life during production while he was driving a truck on a loading dock, the brakes failed and the truck plunged 60 feet into the Black Sea. Thankfully, Statham, who competed on Britain's national diving squad for 12 years, was able to get free and swim to safety. And here you thought those shoot 'em up bang bang blockbusters were all just pretend. Linda Hamilton in Terminator 2 Judgment Day. 
Linda Hamilton's badass turn as Sarah Connor in 1991's Terminator 2 set a precedent for female action stars to follow. She took the role very seriously, training her tail off to play the hardcore mother of the leader of the future world. But for all the fight sequences and stunt work, it's hard to bounce back when a shotgun blast goes off near your ear, while shooting the scene in which Sarah is trying to escape the psych ward and has to reluctantly accept help from the new and improved Terminator, the actress forgot to put her earplugs back in after a take. When Schwarzenegger let off a round in the elevator trying to stop the T-1000, the amplified sound caused Hamilton permanent hearing loss. Of course, Hamilton wasn't the first action star to get hurt from gun shooting blanks. Bruce Willis in Die Hard that's right, the same type of injury also befell the man who played John McClane while he was making his action thriller breakthrough, Die Hard. According to the actor, after firing off a fateful round, he suffered two-thirds partial hearing loss in his left ear. He added that now he has the tendency to say, what? His daughter, Rumor Willis, even said the reason her dad isn't as talkative while promoting a movie is because he sometimes struggles to hear the questions. Huh, that explains a lot. Or does it? He's I dreamed I was on a boat. <laughs> Michelle Yeoh in Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. It comes as no surprise that Michelle Yeoh injured herself during the spectacular Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. With all the incredible stunt choreography involved, there had to be a misstep. I think in life, you must make a choice. Either you do it or you don't. Indeed, at one point during the filming, Yo landed wrong and her knee gave out. Sure enough, the action star completely tore an ACL in her knee. Yo had to have surgery and months of physical therapy. And while she was able to recover, she admitted, you never get all the way back to what it was. Angelina Jolie in Salt Angelina Jolie is another star who never does any of her action movies half-assed, especially her 2010 spy thriller, Salt. Jolie played a CIA officer accused of being a Russian spy who must prove her innocence while on the run. To prep for fight scenes, Jolie had to learn a combination of Muay Thai and Krav Maga which she did during two-hour sessions three to four times a week. Some of her stunts included jumping off a highway underpass onto a moving truck, but amazingly, that wasn't the scene that literally scarred her for life. Speaking at Comic-Con at the time, she said it happened during a scene which involved her rolling onto the floor and left her with a permanent scar. Her stunt trainer, Simon Crane, told Us Weekly, during her final fight with Liev Schreiber, she had to dive through an opening door, firing a gun. As she carried the sequence on, she rushed into a corner piece of a set and bumped her head. The injury left a permanent mark, or so they say. Not that anyone can tell. Daniel Craig, Inspector. British actor Daniel Craig's time playing James Bond has left him with his fair share of injuries, as the stunts became more elaborate with each film. In Casino Royale, two of his teeth were accidentally knocked out during his first stunt and had to be capped, and in Quantum of Solace, he suffered several injuries. There was a blow to his face that required plastic surgery, and he was rushed to hospital after slicing off the top of his finger. He also tore a muscle in his shoulder and suffered badly bruised ribs, but it was Craig's time on Spectre that did some permanent damage. While filming a fight scene with the hulking villain Mr. Hinks, he injured his knee. It required surgery and threatened to halt filming for six months. But Craig didn't want to wait and put off the surgery, working through the pain. He told Empire, this has been a two year process since we began talking about the script. It gets to the point and you say, we can shut down for six months and you can go have surgery and come back then. I was like, F that, I don't give a f Stick two planks of wood on it and I'll f***ing crack on. And crack on he did. And in the end, production was stopped for only two weeks. Craig has since had a few surgeries to repair his knee and has joked he'll only keep playing 007 as long as his knees hold out. Jackie Chan in basically all of his movies. Kung Fu legend Jackie Chan has never held back and views any injury he sustains while filming a stunt as just part of the gig. It's one of the reasons Chan is considered a true hero of the martial arts genre. I hear the crack from, oh. I look at my feet upside down. Oh! Then, I, then the cameraman, are you okay? I said, I'm okay. Did you got the shot? 
His broken fingers, his nose, ankles, his tailbone, even his hip, he's dislocated his shoulders more than a few times and suffered multiple concussions and spinal injuries. The injury list is as long as his resume. However, there's one particularly serious boo-boo that made a lasting impression on his banged up body. During the shoot for Armor of God, he was supposed to do what was a simple stunt jump, but he was so hurt by the maneuver that he had to have brain surgery, which included the permanent implantation of a metal plate. Even so, Chan's movie momentum and commitment to doing his own stunt work has never wavered. Chan's the champ. Thanks for watching. Click the looper icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.